Welcome to this week's installment of You Cuts, where we find stuff you might wish you could unsee. If an officer stops you, always be polite. Mary J. Blige sat with Hillary Clinton and sang about what to most people is common sense. Terrible optics aside, both Hillary and Mary probably wish this little sit down had just never happened. Hillary's deadpan facial expressions are a bit awkward, but no one has ever accused this presidential candidate of being able to connect with much of anyone. Now having said all this, why aren't I 50 points ahead? Next up, preferred pronouns may need a safe space and an institute of higher learning may want a do-over. University of Michigan student Grant Strobel will now be addressed as His Majesty by professors, tutors, and anyone else in the school's employ. On Tuesday, the university's provost and its vice president for student life sent out an email inviting students to choose the pronoun that university staff would be required to use when referencing or addressing them. I henceforth shall be uh, referred to as His Majesty. So people are actually calling you that now? Like they are forced to call you that on campus now? Yes, the policy says oh. that if uh, professors uh, don't refer to students by their designated identities, then they may face sanction. Failure to use the student's preferred pronoun could result in disciplinary action. To show just how ludicrous the new policy is, Grant chose a preferred pronoun fit for a king. Mr. Strobel said, I figured his is an established pronoun and I entered majesty and honorific. Both words exist in the English language, unlike these invented pronouns. Social justice warriors have gone to a new low. Your choice in costumes for your pets might be sexist. An article published by the Washington Post points at the pet supply site BaxterBoo.com, where the description of this French maid outfit reads, any tidy girl dog will look adorable wearing this French maid dog costume. Scott Laurie, who co-hosts a podcast about gender issues, had become upset when shopping for costumes for his dogs at PetSmart, where costumes were also separated by gender. It seems silly, Lori said. The career options for women and dogs need to go beyond pink loofahs and pink cowgirls. Career options? He's right about one thing. It seems silly. If a person feels limited to a certain career choice because of their pet's Halloween costume, bigger issues might be afoot. In more serious news, scientists expect the Earth to have reached the tipping point of 400 parts per million of CO2 in the atmosphere a level not seen in at least four million years and never experienced by humans. Oh, what is it? What's going on? The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The sky is falling? Are you crazy? Should we take the long-term view when it comes to global warming? I think that we should. And the long-term view is, is that in billions of years, the sun is gonna actually grow and encompass the Earth, right? That's it for this week's You Cuts. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to the CDN YouTube channel to see more of our videos.